Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another pickups video the series where I talk about five pieces from a specific brand maybe a specific area of fashion that I want to pick up in the future now in today's video I'm going to be discussing five undercover by Jun Takahashi pieces that I would love to pick up in the future Yes guys, so recently I brought back the video series Pickups. Uh, I really just wanted to do a couple videos discussing the favorite brands that I love and cover on the channel and pieces that I want to pick up from them in the future. Now you guys really enjoyed that. You really enjoyed the recent Chrome Hearts one that I did where I discussed five pieces that I want to pick up from them in the near future. And I asked you in that video, is there any specific area of fashion, a specific brand that we talk about uh, that you guys would love to see me talk about five pieces that I'd love to grab from either that area or brand? And we got some comments. We got some comments in that Chrome Hearts video. We had Luca T9 say, love the video, want to see your top picks for capital or undercover and well as you can tell by the title of this video <laughs> i'm not doing the capital one today but uh undercover absolutely absolutely luca For, from your comment in that previous video i will be doing this video today i will be talking about five pieces that i want to pick up from undercover and after writing them all down i realized that they're actually all from the fall winter 2021 season <laughs> But in saying that, they're not the only five. There are many, many, many more pieces from Undercover that I would love to pick up. It's just that when I, the first five pieces that came to mind, they were all from the fall winter 2021 season. I just love that season. That season is just, there's so many, I, I don't know. It just really spoke to me. There are a lot of awesome pieces in it. Even though I have picked up so many pieces from that season, there's still apparently five more that I could really go for. <laughs> And I'll be covering them in today's video. So uh, now, as always, the five pieces are not in any hierarchy. The fifth piece isn't my least wanted. The number one piece isn't the most wanted. It's just five. They're, they're just five pieces. So yeah, let's get into it, guys. Let's check out uh, piece number five and see what piece I would really love to pick up from Undercover. Piece number five. I mean, some of you are probably guessing it. If I say fall winter 2021, you're like, Daniel, you're obsessed with the Marcus Akesson pieces in that season. It's probably going to be one of those. <laughs> and yeah, you'd be right if you guessed it. Piece number five is a Marcus collaborative piece. I don't know, man. It's just his oil paintings on the pieces in the season were just fantastic like the colors that they used the placement of the oil paintings they were it was just awesome it was just awesome so you guys know i have a lot of the hoodies i have the work jacket now a piece that i wanted for a very very long time but a piece that i would like to pick up is the insomnia moths that's the name of the original oil painting uh crew neck that released in Undercover's Fall Winter 2021 season. Um, yeah, it's, um, I don't think this piece got a hoodie version. Uh, bigger Undercover fans can definitely correct me in that comment section below, but from what I have seen, there wasn't an Undercover uh, hoodie version with the Insomnia Moths artwork on it. Only a crew neck, which is fine. It actually works out really, really well because um, in my office job, they kind of frown upon wearing hoodies and wearing very casual wear, and that's totally fine, totally understandable. Uh, and this crew neck, I thought, yeah, this crew neck, uh, it's, you know, it's uh, it's winter now. I was about to say it's uh, autumn slash fall, but it's not anymore. We're, we've started June, it's officially winter. Um, I could really go for this crew neck, wear it over the top of an Oxford button up, uh, some nice dress pants, cotton ones because it's winter. <laughs> No more linen. We can't wear linen uh, dress pants in, in winter anymore. It's too cold. But yeah, I could really go for this crew neck over the top of the Oxford shirt, wear it to work. Um, the sweatshirts in this fall winter 2021 season were cotton fleece. Very different from uh, past seasons because Jun Takahashi loves using uh, French terry cotton. No, this season it was cotton fleece. 
and it would just be really nice and warm. Um, yeah, just a really, really nice crew neck. It just ticked all the boxes. I was like, I can wear it to work. The artwork is beautiful on the front. The colors are really nice. It works with most of my wardrobe. It was just ticking all the boxes, man. Um, I have found a size five and I would have to go with a size five because if I went with anything smaller, the shoulder width would start creeping in. I, can, I the, the smallest I can go with the shoulder width is 48 centimeters. Anything smaller than that, and I'm like, oh geez, like we're we're bunching it up here. I might just rip the shoulders real quick because um I have the capital uh, feather denim jacket, and that has a shoulder width of 48 centimeters as the size four, the biggest size. And yeah, I would not want to go any smaller than that. So uh, yeah, definitely would have to pick a size five up for this crew neck. I have one, you know, I'm watching it. I'm watching it. <laughs> so if I pick it up in the near future, no surprises there. But uh, yeah, it is just a beautiful crew neck. Artwork looks amazing. Would love to pick this one up. Uh, and I had to mention it as piece number five today. Now piece number four, I initially saw this piece in the, in the lookbook. And I thought, you know what, it's cool, but it's not gripping me. It's not pulling me towards it. It's not making me say, damn, I need that piece. I just thought it was cool. And it wasn't until I picked up the landscape knit from the fall winter 2021 season that I was like, damn, actually, let me pick up all the knits from this season because once I got the landscape knit and I wore it a couple times, I was like, ooh, this material, the cut. I mean, the graphics were uh, like amazing as well, but I honestly would have been very happy with just a cream knit with that cut and that material because, yeah, they nailed it for the fall winter 2021 season. So after I got the landscape knit, I started diving into the fall winter 2021 season to look at the other knits that came out in this season. And one of them that I've really started to get around recently is the uh, the patterned, um, I guess, angel knit. The one where it's a angel statue, I think with one hand up and one hand down here. And the hand that's up here is pointing up to this like, this melting landscape from the shoulders down. I think that's probably the best way to describe it or like a inverse. So it's like the world's been tipped upside down. Uh, landscape that starts at the shoulders down. I think it's sick. It, yeah, as I said, it, initially when it came out in the season, I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's not that cool. But yeah, ever since I got that landscape knit, my opinions completely changed on the knits for the season. I'm like, damn, I need all of them. Um, the material, the cut, um, the, the cut for the knits in that season are very different to your standard knits because um, the shoulder width, the width of the piece itself, perfect. But they altered the length so they're not super elongated. You find that the knit is actually shorter than the arm length a lot of the time. It's quite, I don't want to say cropped because it's not above the, the belt. It's still, if you buy the right size, like at the belt slash below the belt, but it's not super long. I find with a lot of knits that I'm buying these days, uh, the length of them is really, really long for no reason. Um, I like how Undercover has done the knits for the fall winter 2021 season because they've got a really nice shoulder width, a really nice width, and the length isn't overly long. And I know there will be some people saying, well, Daniel, why not in the other brands? Why don't you just buy like a large instead of a 2XL or an XL? Uh, that would be fine, but the problem is that when you buy a large, then the shoulders come in, the width comes in. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, it's just unfortunate. And um, I haven't even looked into getting knits like altered I can't imagine it would be easy or, you know, cheap. So I would just like them to fit out of the box, you know? <laughs> and I know a size five in this knit would. I, I love the color of it. The graphic is speaking to me more and more the more I see it. It's just an awesome knit. I don't actually know the name of this one. Um, I'm just going to call it, I guess, the angel knit. Um, I, yeah, but it's just awesome. That like re inverse or reverse uh, landscape, like what looks like castles. But because it's upside down and then the angel reaching up to it it's just sweet it's just an awesome little graphic um if i can find this one in a size five would love to pick it up and also at a good price because the knits were very expensive that season so hopefully i can find one for a good price but yeah just a really awesome knit uh, and i had to mention it as piece number four now for piece number three this piece 
I was actually very bummed out initially when I saw it in the lookbook. Mainly because it had a hood. And I was like, ah, oh, but it would look so much better without a hood. Why does it have to have a hood? Piece is ruined. Then I found out, once I started getting stocked in boutiques, the hood's detachable. And I was like, whoa, game changed, guys. Game changed. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, honestly, if I did pick it up, I feel like I would detach the hood. But in saying that, I have warmed up slowly now uh, to the, you know, the hood. And I, I feel like I would now comfortably wear it with the hood. But finding out that it was detachable changed my opinion. I was like, all right, this piece is now sick. Let's go with it. <laughs> and the piece is... Well, it's another Marcus piece. What we have is the uh, Insomnia Moths Fishtail Parker. Um, yeah, when I first saw it in the lookbook, I was like, ooh, this Fishtail Parker. Without the hood, it would look awesome. And then I found out that the multi-layered hood, yeah, is detachable. You can just take it off. There's no stress about it. So I was like, thank you, Jun Takahashi, for thinking about that. Because yeah, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that likes his, his Parkers, trench coats, everything like that to, uh, yeah, either have a collar or just to be unhooded. I, I, that's just my personal preference. I think it just looks a lot nicer. So to have this as an option, awesome. Thank you, June. Yeah, amazing. Um, now, obviously getting into the details, I really like the gray color to it. I like the little Marcus artwork on the left breast on the front. Um, I love the length of it, everything like that. And then obviously the big, big highlight that I'm a massive fan of is Marcus's artwork on the whole back panel there, right down to the fishtail section there. It's just, just looks awesome. Uh, it looks like it's a polyester cupro uh, combination. Very typical Jun Takahashi. So the exterior is a polyester and the interior is a cupro lining. Is it detachable like the fall winter 2020 trench coat that I have? I honestly don't know. I would have to get this thing in hand to see if it's detachable or not. Not that I would detach it though, because you know, I mean, hey, it's for the fall winter season. I think I'm going to need that lining with how cold it is down in Australia right now. <laughs> but yeah, just a fantastic piece. The artwork on the back of it, um, the silhouettes. There's a lot of drawstrings I noticed on it, so it looks like I don't know, this is this is me just speculating. I have no confirmation if this is the case or not. It has three drawstrings. One up at the shoulder area slash neck area. One at the waist area. And then one down right down the bottom of the fishtail. So it looks like, judging by that, you can grab each three sections of the uh, drawstrings and you can tighten them. So if you're a little bit thinner than the size that you buy, you can make the waist a little bit tighter make it look a little bit nicer on your body type. Uh, or if you're like me, you probably won't be. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was cool. Like a cool added detail to it. If you can do that, that is an awesome added detail to it. Um, the sizing on these uh, fishtail parkers is quite huge. Like I found a boutique that had the centimeters, uh, you know, measurements for the sizing and a size four was gonna be oversized on me. They offered this jacket in a size up to five. So a five would be massively oversized on me, which I was kind of feeling. I was like, yeah, you know what? I could do that. And because it has the drawstrings, I could tighten it if it's just like too big on my width or something like that. But yeah, I was like, damn. So I could go for a size four or a five in this piece. Ideally, I would like a five because I'm probably gonna wear like multiple layers underneath it. Um, so that would help definitely. But uh, yeah, just an awesome piece. Awesome, awesome piece. I uh, normally I'm not a huge fan of fishtail parkers. I kind of like them just having, I guess, the same length all, all around the bottom and not having that fishtail at the back. But this one, yeah, the artwork, the extra details, the sizing adjustments, the detachable hood. There's just so many little details there. And the material choice, polyester and cupro, very nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, I had to mention this as piece number three today, guys. I would love to pick this up in a four or five, but it is very expensive. Hopefully I can either buy a second hand one or I can buy a size five at a good price and uh, do an unboxing and a showcasing to you guys at some point. Okay, for piece number two, it's technically a knit, I suppose, but yeah, it's, 
more of a turtleneck. It's a sweater regardless. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, yeah, I really liked it just for its fit, colors, um, and the ribbing on the turtleneck. Uh, what we have is, I think, the only turtleneck that released in the season. You may be able to correct me on this, uh, bigger undercover fans, because I think in the fall winter 2021 season, we got sweaters with neck warmers that were detached. And this is the only sweater that has an attached, I guess, neck warming area. Um, but again, you can correct me on that. There's, I mean, there's heaps of pieces in the season. There's probably another turtleneck in the season that they released. But this was definitely the one that captured me the most. Uh, it's the Godzilla turtleneck. Or at least I'm calling that. Because, I mean, look at that. There's this huge, gigantic reptile with the big red laser beam coming out of its head. Hitting a actually really, really nice mountain landscape. Um, and I mean, it, the figure isn't co coloured in. But it looks like Godzilla. I think I would have called it the Godzilla turtleneck. <laughs> yeah, but ah, uh, just the colours. I honestly wish, maybe a controversial take, I don't know, that Godzilla and the laser wasn't even in it at all. Because the landscape, the mountain ranges, the trees, the lake, the detail that's in this knit sweater is just really, really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, hey June, if you want to redo this knit without Godzilla in it, then send it my way. <laughs> size 5 is all I need, and it's probably the smallest size I could go with, because knowing these knits and stuff like that, the shoulder width... They like to make them tight, so I would need one that's going to be around 49, 50 centimeters, just to be comfortable. Anything lower than 49 in that 48 centimeter territory? Yeah, I've had a look at some of the sizing on this. Uh, I found a size 4 second hand, and the size 4, I think, had 49 centimeters across the shoulders. The size 4 sold out. I was actually considering picking up this knit in a size 4 second hand, but it sold out. I was like, ah, bugger. Yeah, so I think I'm going to need at least a size 4, ideally a size 5 on this knit. Um, I'm just going to have to go hunting. I would love to pick it up, though. That green color of it in general, the ribbing on the turtleneck and it matches the waist ribbing and the wrist ribbing. Ah, man, it's just, it's awesome. All the little details. If it's got the same material makeup as the landscape knit that I've worn, it's it would just be such an awesome piece to own. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice knit. Um, it's harder and harder to come by, obviously, because it's well, almost technically two seasons old now because the fall winter 2022 season is going to be releasing sometime soon. But, um... Yeah, just a lovely knit, and I had to mention it as piece number two. Now, piece number one, guys, it's another Marcus piece. <laughs> I couldn't, I had to, I had to, I had to. Yeah, so this one, I've got the hoodie version of it, but I don't have the trench coat version of it. I would love, absolutely love to get the trench coat version of it, because that brown color hits. It's beautiful. Uh, what I want is the mask girl with a veil um padded trench coat i'm calling it the padded trench coat just because it looks very thick and padded it looks like a polyester uh, it wouldn't be a down fill but it looks lined with something and it looks quite thick perfect for the fall winter season though perfect though right um yeah awesome dark i wouldn't say chocolate but it's just this really dark brown color looks fantastic and then the back panel is taken up by Marcus's artwork of um, a girl with a, a veil on. Essentially, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but yeah, it just looks fantastic. Collared, um, minimal details, kept really, really minimal. It has just some black buttons. Very simple piece, very simple piece. But yeah, just the colors, the artwork on the back. Um, it just looks amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, this one, from what I remember, I think I had a look at a size 4, um, just to see if I could fit a 4, and it looks oversized as well, judging from the measurements, but it has been a hot minute since I've looked at the measurements for this piece, so I think I could fit a 4, I have not seen a 5, I have not seen a 5 for this piece, uh, if there is a size 5, I would love to get the size 5, because I definitely wear this piece over the top of like a hoodie, uh, maybe some extra layers like a turtleneck or something like that. Like it wouldn't be the only layer I'm rocking uh, Obviously because it's fall winter, but yeah it, uh, a four or a five I'd be very happy with, with this piece 
But yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's a very nice piece. So a 4 over 5 isn't, you know, appearing anytime soon. <laughs> I would love, it, it's going to be expensive as well. So ideally, I'd love to pick it up secondhand. But um, yeah, that really comes down to if anyone wants to let go a 4 or a 5 for a good price. Uh, hopefully they can because I'd love to pick it up. <laughs> and yeah, I had to mention it as piece number one in the video. But remember... They're not in any hierarchy. Number one is not more sought after than number five. It's just at position number one, but it's a fantastic piece that I would absolutely love to own. Just awesome. But um, yeah, that is it guys. That is all five pieces that I wrote down for this video. Coincidentally, all from the fall winter 2021 season, but they're just the ones on my mind. I'm like, damn, that season was really, really nice. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys down in that comment section below how you feel about any of the pieces, um, if you own any of the pieces, what's your thoughts and opinions, guys, on any of the pieces? Let me know down in that comment section below. But that is it, guys. That is five undercover by Jun Takahashi pieces that I would love to pick up in the future. And just like the last pickups video, if you have a recommendation on like a certain area, like five trench coats, five varsity jackets, five any specific area or even brand. Maybe you're like, hey, I want to see another Chrome Hearts one. Hey, I want to see another undercover one because I could definitely do another undercover one. <laughs> I will have to do the capital one. Luca asked for the capital one, so I will have to do the capital one in the future. No issues with that. I've got like four capital pickups videos already. There's a lot of capital I want to pick up. Why haven't I picked it up? <laughs> so it's just a bit of money so it costs a bit of money but it doesn't everything it doesn't everything so yeah uh, maybe i should actually go pick up some of the stuff from capital ah it's a bit of a struggle isn't it there's so much you want but don't we all have limited funds one day one day i'll pick up more capital i need to do it soon though for sure but uh yeah that is five undercover pieces guys if you have a recommendation on the next uh section or brand that i should do Drop them in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep doing uh, further pickups videos, you gotta give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is of course that subscribe to the channel. Now, we're trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month in the month of June, which is 3355. 3,355. We are like one sub off. We went from 3,350 to 3,355 very, very quickly. Not, so, I mean, I shouldn't jinx myself because we haven't hit 355 yet. We're one off. We're at 35, oh, sorry, 3,354, 3,354. If you tell two mates and they tell two mates, we can hit the subscriber milestone. So hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can hit 3355 before the end of June. But that is everything I got to say about these five pieces. Actually, it isn't. I could probably talk about them for another 20 minutes. Because <laughs> they're fantastic. They're amazing pieces. But uh, yeah, until the next Undercover video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Pickups video, guys, I'll catch you later.